Dave and today I'm going to be taking a look at the Tornado T electronic cigarette and juice feed system from totallywickedeliquid.co.uk or if you live on the other side of the pond totallywickedeliquid.com I've been very kindly sent the Tornado T kit uh, free of charge so I can do this review and before they're generally available to people so for that I'm very grateful um, it's something that I've been particularly interested in because for a little while now I've been looking for a solution to um, a problem that I have with electronic smoking consider the standard Tornado electronic cigarette it consists of a battery an atomizer and then you have this the cartridge cartridge will be filled with some kind of filler material you put your juice inside the cartridge you put it onto the atomizer and you press the button the juice wicks onto the atomizer you get your vapour uh, if you like you can use the cone I never do so that's all well and good it's a principle that we know works um, I have a real irritation and frustration with the amount of times I either have to replace or refill this cartridge. Um, I have um, caused to uh, do some sort of lengthy several hour uh, trips in the car as part of my job and sometimes I find myself working in an environment where it's really not um, not viable and uh, acceptable for me to get out a bunch of juice bottles and top up and fill up. So I've been looking for something um, that will go for longer between refills now for a little while. So let's have a look at how the Tornado T goes about trying to solve this juice capacity problem. First thing I want to show you is the atomizer. It's a cone atomizer, uh, which basically, as the name suggests, uh, combines the cone that we saw on the regular tornado with the atomizer. You can't see the coil when you look down inside like you can in a normal 510 or, or, or the wire mesh bridge that, that you can see when you look inside a 510 atomizer. Um, what you can see is a metal plate and protruding from it a metal tube effectively and that tube uh, contains a wicking material so when the juice gets onto it it feeds it down into the atomizer core which is underneath the metal plate that you can see. Uh, the tube's also sort of quite sharp and I'll show you the reason for that in a minute. The tanks when they arrive replace the cartridge and, um, and they come pre-wrapped as you'd expect. Uh, with the kit I got, we uh, I was sent um, three 18 milligram strength and then some lower ones like 11 milligram and stuff that I won't use, frankly. But um, the uh, although I like the flavour of the liquid that was sent, the um, uh, the Titan tobacco flavoured, um, uh, it basically isn't strong enough for me. I like a 24 milligram uh, e-liquid. Um, so I emptied the first one and then uh, started refilling with my own juice. Uh, and I'll show you how we could do that in a second. Um, the, the, the tanks themselves uh, consist of a combined mouthpiece and then this clear section um, where, which, in which you can see the juice. I greatly prefer these whistle tip style mouthpieces to the round things that you get normally on a 510. Uh, just, just uh, it's personal preference, but it's actually quite important to me. Um, uh, much prefer it than those round plastic things. Um, the tank, you see the juice flowing around inside there. Uh, that in itself is a useful thing. I can see that this tank is uh, just about half full at the moment by because I can see the level of juice inside. Um, the way it works is uh, on the bottom of the tank is a plastic cap with a hole in it. Now, when you take it out of the packet, that isn't a hole, there's a thin plastic film. So when you push it down onto the atomizer, the spike that I showed you before pierces that, and then the juice can get out and down and onto the atomizer. Um, even though this one now has been refilled uh, about a dozen times, uh, I think I've put about 15 millilitres of liquid in so far. Um, so I've used it quite, quite heavily, and as you can see, it doesn't drip out. Physics is good. No, no liquid dripping out there, um, but it, it really is very simple to see how it works. The liquid goes through the hole into the protruding 
metal tube in the cone atomizer and that's how you get it onto the atomizer. Now I'll show you very quickly how to uh, top these up because it really is that simple. If you've got fingernails you could probably just do this with your fingernails. I can't so I'm actually going to use the end of this syringe uh, to pry off the uh, plastic cap that you can see. He says and off it comes. As you can see the cap is now off and you can now see also that the tank is just as you'd imagine it's just a container into which you can pour juice so I will do that now I found that if you overfill these you have a few, you have problems with the juice wicking onto the atomizer for the first few drags first few minutes so I've been filling this up so it gets to I don't know two mil from the top or something like that and um, and that's about you, you can see that quite clearly how much is in there um, <clears throat> that leaves a little bit of uh, air inside the tank uh, which allows it to flow out better so if you fill it right up to the cap it will go in um, but what you'll find is you'll get a burnt taste for a while until some air works itself in the cartridge and it goes down so that's it that's it done refilled uh, and there's about 1.1, 1.2 millilitres of juice in there, which will keep me going for a good little while. Um, I'm not going to talk about how long it lasts in terms of minutes or hours, because obviously that's going to be different for all of us, depending on how heavily we vape. I'm just going to mention VG juice. I've noticed a couple of the reviews that have appeared already, are already mentioning the thicker juices. Um, Normally I vape uh, this stuff which is a homemade 50-50 uh, VG PG juice. Um, I tried that in the tank and basically it's too thick, it's too gloopy, it doesn't wick down onto the atomizer and I was getting a burnt taste. Um, so what I've done is uh, mixed up the stuff that I've, you've just seen me top up with which is uh, about 70-30, 70% 70 to 30% PG to VG so it's a bit less viscous, a bit more watery and this stuff works absolutely fine but it's worth mentioning that if you're in the habit of using sort of uh, uh, gloopy juices or, or pure VG or something then you might find that you get a few wicking problems um, they're not insurmountable but you will get that burnt taste from time to time which isn't particularly pleasant um, even with the 70-30 mix, I do find sometimes that I just need to little, just a little tiny little blow into the top uh, because uh, a film uh, of, uh, of juice can form across the top of the, uh, the hole in the bottom of the cart. Uh, so, but basically just a little puff like that. Don't overdo it, otherwise you'll, you'll get juice everywhere. Uh, we'll, we'll solve the problem. Um, and that's it, you're ready to use it. The vapour produced by the Tornado T is frankly better than I expected. Let me show you. When I first heard uh, that the, the design was going to be based around um, the um, the joy uh, cone atomizer i was a little worried now I, i've not because i've not actually used the cone atomizers but i've yet to meet somebody who speaks well of them uh they have a reputation for being very mild uh for, for not giving you much throat hits um for basically being quite a sort of wimpy um experience when you when you vape them um and indeed when i first took this out of the box a few days ago uh, and connected it all up and tried it that was my first impression oh blimey I, I got no throat hit um, I, I have to say I persevered and then after uh, maybe an hour or so it started to uh, break in a bit the atomizer did and then throughout that first 24 hours uh, and it has been 24 hours in some cases because I've been watching the cricket all night um, the thing had improved uh, to the point that now it's I wouldn't say that it's uh, comparable in terms of throat hit or intensity to a low resistance atomizer or cartomizer, um, but it's certainly uh, it's certainly close. Um, it, it seems to be a more um, more intense hit that you get from this than a, from a, re a regular five ten uh, atomizer. So so that's quite pleasing. 
Um, I know that I've, I've read some uh, some comments about uh, the development of an LR version of this. Um, I'm a bit sceptical that they'll get to build something that will be able to wick the juice fast enough to do that. Um, but if they ever do come up with something viable that's LR, then that would be great. Um, I think for, from my own point of view, the next thing I'd like to see in development of this is a bigger tank. Simple as that. If this takes 1.1, 1.2 mil, let's have a 2 mil tank. You know, let's have a mega uh, tank. That would be good. The vapor's good. The throat it's good. The flavor's good. It's a, it, it's a great balance of those three things, I think. It's the sort of thing that I can see myself using. Uh, I, you know, I have a bit of a soft spot for mods, um, and uh, and I do like to experiment and play with things. But at times, like when I'm taking a trip in the car, I just want something that's going to work, give a pleasant vape, and not need refilling every sort of 15 minutes to half an hour. So... To wrap up, I'd like to say thank you to uh, Jason Cropper, uh, Mr. Wicked, uh, for agreeing to send me one of these before uh, before they were available. That is much appreciated, especially as it's um, it's something that I've got a need for. Um, um, I, I'm, I, obviously, I'm giving this a very favourable uh, review. Um, I do think it's an excellent product and is performing far better than some alternative approaches that I've tried recently. Now, I gather these will be available from mid-January, so a week or two's time. Um, they're already starting to appear on the Totally Wicked website for order, I see. Um, the versions that we've been sent have the new uh, Tornado T battery, uh, which I've shown you a few times, the labelling on there, um, which has uh, a sort of on and off feature, which is a nice touch. Uh, you press uh, the fire button uh, five times, it flashes a couple of times to show you it's got it. And that's actually turned the battery off, which is great uh, if you want to carry the thing in your pocket, which uh, I do certainly a lot, so I feel a lot more secure knowing that that isn't going to burn my pocket. Uh, five times again, switches it back on, and now it works like a regular Tornado battery. Now, I understand that the first kits that are going to be appearing will only feature the regular Tornado battery. It works exactly the same, you just don't have that on-off uh, feature. Uh, why the, why that's not going to be available uh, on the generally released ones I don't know um, but I'll update on my blog if somebody tells me. Um, we know that the kits are going to be about 60 quid um, and we know that the replacement atomizer cost is going to be £10.99 initially. Uh, now that is a little bit more pricey than regular 510 atomizers obviously um, so I guess we're going to have to wait and see how long they last in relation to the cheaper 510 atomizers uh, before we can ultimately decide whether it's worth it. Um, my initial feeling is yes it is worth it because there's a convenience thing here. I'll wrap up by saying thank you very much for watching. Um, that's the Tornado Tea from totallywickedeliquid.co.uk or .com. Um, uh, I'd recommend you give them a go, uh, so if you've got like requirements like I do and are sick of topping up every 10 minutes, uh, this may very well be the answer for you. Thanks very much for watching.